basically you don't expect things to just happen straight away like from doing that it's more the fact of just space time with people and staying relevant in their heads because you know the industry we're in is like uh, out of sight out of mind and if you know if you're not putting albums out or in having meetings all the time um, or just staying in people's ears you get forgotten really easily you know just the amount of the influx of artists and, and music coming out now thanks to the internet and you really do have to put in the extra effort <laughs> Uh, but they don't even compare. It's, uh, when I was on the Gold Coast, like it's a, it's a little bit better now. But when I was there, there was no scene. Uh, you know, you had a, a handful of people making crappy club music. And uh, you had like I was in a group with the, the guys that are on now, Choose Mics, and we had a little conglomerate thing going on. But apart from us, there was really, not to my knowledge, much going on, and you couldn't get gigs, and no one really took you seriously. You know what I mean? It's better now, thanks to the internet, thanks to like just just I guess waters being broken and things like that. Um, you can be on the Gold Coast, you can still get recognition and make music. But I think just moving to somewhere like Melbourne, where it's a hub <coughs> of music, it's the music capital just expands your options and you know opportunities and things like that so if your mentality is like I don't care where I'm from I'm gonna do this anyway and push it people will see that you know and recognize it and uh, that's what they're doing you know and um, I guess Brisbane is still uh, it's, it is is a city rather than like the Gold Coast isn't really the same thing you know so even it's still hard on the Gold Coast it's still difficult so it's about time Brisbane really stepped up and you know and it's really great to see